Welcome back guys. I am going to be sharing with you guys today my fourth quarter portfolio for 2023. How everything shaped up and panned out as far as me investing. I got off track with this but I want to make sure I show you guys and also so that we can see if I hit my $50,000 goal for investing saving for the year. Thank you guys so much for being here. I have been gone for a little bit over a week or so and that's because I was trying to recover from the cooties, okay? The cooties have been going around. So <laughs> your girl has been trying to take time to recoup, heal, do all the things so that I can actually come back to YouTube and be my full silly self. Let's go ahead and get into this video. If you need some type of investing motivation, especially someone that is starting from $2,500 back in August 2016 to getting to this point where we are right now, please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to this channel and follow me along each month as I show how much that I'm actually adding to my portfolio as I am attempting to reach my first 100K in investments by the end of December, 2026. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in and you want to follow along and you want to go ahead and start investing as well, make sure you follow this channel. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, not a financial representative. I don't work for an investment company. I am just showing what I am doing as far as my investment portfolio and how I'm growing and learning and just trying to make sure that I set myself up for a good financial future. Let's go ahead and look at October 2023 and see where we're at. And I will also tell you guys where we ended for the month of September so we can see how much the portfolio grew or if it, de you know, if it decreased, all those good things. So for my Vanguard account, the end of October 2023, I had $28,583.80 in there. My TRS, which is my teacher retirement system account, that was $14,643.52. My Fidelity account was $152.46. And then my Robinhood account was $1,032.96. My M1 Finance account was $1,364.51 and my Fundrise account was $96.76. Total for the month of October with all of my investment accounts, it was $45,874.01. I believe at this point I was thinking, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to make it to 50 k because the market was bleeding red if you remember like august september october november i mean it was it was bad guys like whenever it looked like it was going up it would just go back down okay i mean everything was like red okay it was like a whole massacre going on in the investment world so let's see what we look like for november so we've got a side by side right here and we have for november in vanguard it was $31,599.24. And then for TRS, it was $15,017.85. For Fidelity, $153.10. Robinhood, we had a nice little jump of $1,427.10. Then also for M1 Finance, it was $1,502.42. And Fundrise was $105.77. So we rebounded pretty good, okay? And that brought our total down to $49,805.48 for the month of November. Okay, so this, at this point, is giving me some hope. At this point, we're like 200 away. Also, November was the month, or October was the month, I can't remember which one, but one of the months I was able to go ahead and finish wrapping up my Roth IRA. I was able to max out my Roth IRA for 2023. If you have been following me along, you saw that I made that announcement. I showed that screenshot, which I did on Instagram, and I've never been able to max out my Roth IRA before, so this 
was pretty exciting for me and I'm looking to do the same thing for 2024 and look at what December 2024 brought us okay and to see if we actually made it to our 50k goal. I also want to share that for September 2023 the end of September we were at $45,562.09. That's where I ended off at. For Vanguard, for the month of December, where we ended was $33,264.77. For TRS, it was $15,418.95. Fidelity, $153.75. And then we had a nice big jump again in Robinhood, which was $1,782.96. And then also there was a nice jump as well in the M1 Finance account, even though I have not contributed anything to this account since September 2022. That was $1,554.94. And then for our Fundrise account, it was $114.36. So drum roll, please. I'm gonna give you guys a finger drum roll, okay? This is the amount that I left off for the month of December for my investment portfolio. I'm pretty excited about this, guys. Da -da -da. Okay, so I met my goal of 50K. We actually ended at $52,289.73. Consistency, consistency, consistency. That is all that I can say. I would have never imagined and or thought that I would be at this point right here. I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful. And I was beating myself up at you know, at one point or another, like, oh my gosh, I'm not where I want to be financially as far as investing. But now that I have the mortgage paid off, I'm able to invest more and actually put my money towards my investments where I wasn't able to do that before with having the mortgage payment. So it has definitely been a blessing to pay off the mortgage and be able to invest more into my future. Now let's go ahead and look at the fourth quarter review and see exactly what the that says. So it said, did my portfolio increase or decrease in value? It definitely increased as you guys could see. How much money did my portfolio increase? It increased by $6,727.64. How much did I contribute in total? I contributed $3,241.34, and that is across all of these platforms right here. So it says, what stocks, funds did I sell and why? Didn't sell any. Don't have any plans do on doing so. It says, did I make or did I receive any dividends for this quarter? Yes. Total, it was $511.91, which is absolutely amazing for these three months, okay? Are you happy with your portfolio diversification? Yes, I am. And then it says, any changes that you will make for the next quarter? I'm going to attempt to contribute 3K in the first quarter to my Roth IRA, which will put me a lot closer to maxing out my, my Roth IRA before fourth quarter hits. So I would like to be able to max out my Roth IRA by the end of second quarter going into third quarter. So we'll see how that goes, how the money flows and all of those things. But yes, I am very, very happy with this. I track consistently month after month my investment plan as well as this recap of the portfolio check-in. This is a digital version of Mommy Trader's workbook that she has. I won this in a giveaway with her, but she does have it on her Amazon shop as well as in her description box on her website. And it has been a lifesaver, a blessing. I have used it well over a year in order to track my investment portfolio. And seeing the numbers helps me because it helps to keep me motivated that, okay, you have a goal that you're trying to get to. It may not seem like you have a lot, you know, especially compared to other people. And you know, they say comparison is the thief of joy. So I definitely try not to do that 
whatsoever, but I always try to keep in my mind that, you know what, I'm going to get there as well. It may just take me a little bit longer, you know, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with this and I will give you guys another portfolio update in March. I think I will just go ahead and do these quarterly instead of every single month but you know if you want to see it every single month let me know all right but i do like the view of seeing all three together because you can see the growth here each month with each of the accounts that i have if you happen to enjoy this particular video and this portfolio check-in showing exactly how much i was able to earn and how much my portfolio increased make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already and leave me a comment below do you actually track your portfolio until the next video when i see you guys bye